If you want to build a successful online business in the digital product or the coaching space, you will need testimonials. You'll need testimonials from your customers, which will take your sales and conversion rates to an entirely different level. But if you are the new kid on the block and you don't have any testimonials yet or any customers to give you a testimonial, how do you actually go about getting some? Now this is a common stumbling block that new coaches or course creators face. So what I want to do for you in this video is share with you some of the best ways that I know of in which you can get reviews and testimonials for your digital products or coaching services even if you haven't made any sales of your products or services yet. Let's dive in. Hello and thank you for stopping by on my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Ryan Ford and I teach online coaches and course creators how to scale their sales while working less. And in today's video, I want to share with you my favorite ways in which you can get testimonials for your product or your service so that you can then use those testimonials in order to improve your sales and your reputation. But just before we talk about testimonials, if you are thinking about starting your own online business, creating and selling products like online courses or coaching services, then I wanna offer you free access to my digital creator workshop, which is a free, in-depth training workshop where I teach you how to take an idea that you have and turn it into a digital product or a coaching product and then sell that product online to your ideal audience automatically. It's essentially a workshop that teaches you how to build your own online business from the comfort of your own home and in just 30 minutes per day of your time. So if you're thinking about starting a business inside of the digital product arena or the coaching space, you will find this workshop invaluable. And it's completely free, it doesn't cost anything. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can go and watch the Digital Creator Workshop by clicking the link that is somewhere on your screen right now. And as always, also down below in the video description box. Now let's talk about testimonials. Let me start by saying that testimonials or reviews are not an option, they are a must. If you want to be successful at selling your digital products or your coaching services or any type of product, period, you will need to have customer reviews and testimonials, okay? Because nobody wants to buy something if they cannot see that others before them have had a positive experience with that product or service. That is human nature, it's like a safety net. Nobody wants to be a guinea pig or the canary down the mine and be the first person to trial a product. I mean, think about it. if you use Amazon or Airbnb, or you're about to visit a new restaurant for a special occasion, one of the first things that most people will do when they check out a new product is to look at the reviews or testimonials from previous customers and see what they have to say about that product or that service. And the more positive the reviews or testimonials, the more comfort and confidence that that person will be in then making a purchase. And I know that what I'm saying is pretty obvious, but some people new to this business model seem to forget that this also applies to them and to their products and services also, because they're so excited to finally launch something or to start their own online business that they simply don't think about these things. So I just want to make sure that you are thinking about it, if it slipped your mind, and uh, if you're about to launch a product or you've launched something but the sales have been disappointing, make sure that you have reviews and testimonials. So now that you know that, the hurdle to overcome is how do you actually get reviews and testimonials from your customers? Or how do you get them if you don't have any customers right now? Say you're brand new and you've just started. So let's start off with, if you have a new product or a new service and you have no previous customers, so this is your first rodeo, this is your first product or service launch and you haven't sold anything just yet, the first step before you launch is to let a handful of people in your audience inside of your product or service free of charge. But the stipulation for them to gain access for free is that in exchange for a free product, they need to be willing to leave an honest review. And pay attention to what I'm saying, an honest review, not a good review, an honest review. I'm not telling you to bribe them with a free product or service in exchange for a good review. You only want honest reviews and honest feedback because the only way that you'll know if your product or service is any good is to be given honest feedback. This is why you do this before you officially launch your product or service to the public so that you can take any negative feedback or negative reviews and address those behind closed doors so that when the time comes and you do officially launch to the public, you'll know that you already have a good product. It's no good simply bribing five people or 10 people to leave stellar reviews for a trash product because all that happens is when you go live and you launch the thing, new customers will feel cheated and you'll develop a bad reputation, which is not what this is about. This is about creating great products and services 
that genuinely help people and provide outstanding value, not cheating people out of their hard earned money by selling subpar products backed up with fake and manipulated reviews. So before you launch, make sure that you give a handful of people in your audience free access to your product or your service in exchange for an honest review or a testimonial from them. Now, if you've done a good job and the product does receive good feedback, honest feedback, then you will now have a handful of reviews or testimonials that you can showcase on your sales page for the public to see and to feel reassured by. That is the first step to getting testimonials and reviews for a product or a first time product launch without any previous customers or sales. The following step that you want to have in place is an automated email sequence that is triggered anywhere from one week to one month after somebody has purchased something from you, asking them about their experience with your product or service and if they would be willing to give you a review. You need to have this in place, especially if you're selling digital products, because you won't be able to keep track of the people who are buying from you and whether or not they have had enough time to explore the product yet. So if you set up an automated email sequence that is triggered to be sent out after a certain amount of time post purchase, you won't have to keep track of anything. You can simply set this up inside of your email marketing software. I use and recommend ConvertKit for this. The link is down below if you'd like to check them out. But you simply set this up inside of your email marketing software. You set the email sequence up, you select the amount of time that you want between the purchase date and when you want the emails to be sent to your customers and the email marketing software will automatically send them for you from that point onward. So if you are selling a smaller online course or a digital product that somebody could finish within an hour or two, you could set your emails to be sent out one week after the purchase date, which will give your customers plenty of time to go through your product and all of its material. And if your product is something more in depth, like a multiple hour online course or program that's spread out over multiple days or even weeks, then you can change your emails to be sent out multiple weeks after the purchase date or even months. That all comes down to your product and how long it will take for people to consume all of the information and apply that information from your product in order to reach their desired goal or transformation. Hopefully that makes sense. The idea is that you have an automated email sequence in place that will be sent out to your customers after a predetermined amount of time from the point in which they buy your product or your service. And in these emails, you are simply asking them if they could share a review or a testimonial of that product and their experiences and results from buying said product or said service. That is how you can approach selling products but if you're selling something service-based like a coaching program or a done-for-you type of service then you can simply ask the customer once you have completed the service and you've delivered the service if they would please give you a review or a testimonial of that particular service so whether your business sells products or service-based services you can set up both automated email sequences and ask your customers directly if they would take a moment of their time to leave you a review as it helps you with your business heading into the future. And most people providing that they have had a good experience will be happy to take a few moments and leave you a review for your product or your service. In most cases, if they do leave you a bad review or they give you some bad feedback, do not be defensive, okay? Take the feedback on board, see if you can use it in order to improve your products or services heading into the future. It's not personal, so please don't take it personally. It's only business. Don't let it bother you or take up your headspace, okay? I've made this mistake in the past. Believe me, it's not personal, so don't take it personally. Use the feedback and where possible, make improvements moving forward inside of your products or your services. And now that you know how to get reviews and testimonials for your products or services, the final piece of the puzzle is where to actually use them. Now, I would personally use them on your sales pages, on your social media platforms, if you use any for your business, and inside of your email marketing campaigns. You pretty much wanna use them anywhere that involves somebody who is a potential customer of yours and is interested in maybe buying a product or service from you, being. Like personally, I have testimonials on my product sales pages and inside of my email marketing campaigns when I'm pitching a product or service to my email list. They really are important. They play such an important role with showing any potential new customers of mine that they work and that other people who have purchased my products or services before have gotten positive results. And because I don't sell any of my stuff publicly, in order for somebody to land on my sales pages, they will already be quite interested in what I have to say and what I have to offer. And the product reviews or the testimonials are simply the cherry on the cake. They are what will make most people trust me and show them that my product or my service can help them. And that's pretty much it. That is how you can get product reviews and testimonials for your business and also why you need to use them if you plan on selling successfully and more frequently. If you would like a much more in-depth training video from myself where I cover everything in order to build this entire business online from scratch, 
you should go ahead and watch my free digital creator workshop that will cover everything for you and in much greater detail. The link for that should be somewhere on your screen now and as always also down below in the video description. That's a wrap for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time, take care.